Hey guys, Matthew Simmons here. I want to share something really cool with you guys today. Uh, I love color. I love the way that uh, color can completely change the mood and the tone of an image. So as a result, I use color a lot in my photos. And sometimes the processing that I do with color is subtle and sometimes it's really dramatic. And what we're going to look at today is really, really dramatic. So we're going to dive into Photoshop here in a little bit. And I'm going to show you some pic uh, picture that I took of um, a client of mine. Her name is Anel. She is a very talented singer-songwriter. And we were doing some promotional material for her about a month ago. And we did this shot. And we, ha we, we started uh, planning the shot with color in mind. And we gelled the light with this kind of teal blue green kind of light and i thought that that's the direction that we wanted to go in but in post-production we decided maybe we wanted to go a different way with the color and uh, do something that spoke uh, a little bit more truly of who anel is as an artist and she was giving me some input and i decided okay let's see what we can do and rather than jump into lightroom or capture one to do that I uh, jumped into Photoshop as I usually do. And I wanted to share with you guys what I did to the photograph, uh, how I got to point A, from point A to point B, and show you all of the little intricacies that you can do in Photoshop to really take control over the color of your images. So we're gonna take a look at that today and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So here we are in Photoshop and this is the image that we're gonna be taking a look at today. This is a Nell. Uh, it's a really strong image. She's got a very striking pose. The light looks great. The backdrop looks great. It's kind of dark gray, dark black, kind of textured uh, looking backdrop. And it's a really strong image, but we decided to go a completely different direction with the color to uh, more accurately describe who she is as an artist. And what we ended up with is this. And as you can tell, I mean, this is a completely different image. It says something completely different about her just by changing the color. And what I wanted to show you guys today is how I achieved this color from green. And you might be thinking, how, how did you go from one color to a completely different color? You know, in, in, in a lot of different programs, you can kind of tweak color a little bit and manipulate it so that it, it might change tint a little bit and it might change... Uh, vibrance and saturation but to bring out a completely different color that's you know pretty dramatic so we're gonna take a little bit of a look at that today uh, these four layers here are the important ones we've got contrast um, well let me let me just flip all of them off real quick so you can see this is actually the uh, the raw color uh, out of camera so we've got contrast here this is just a curves layer and what this is doing is bringing up some of the shadows and some of the midtones and I also, you know, I'm bringing up the highlights a little bit. And this is giving it, you know, a little bit more, uh, a little more density and a little bit more depth. The second layer that I've got is another curves layer. And th this, this is a really important one. This is what we're going to be, be taking a uh, look at most here in a little bit. And uh, this is a curves layer. Um, but I'm using the individual color channels to manipulate the color. So we'll dive in here in a little bit and I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail of what that looks like. But this is how I changed the actual color from green to this kind of purple blue. The next channel that we've got is a um, hue and saturation layer. And this just brought out the vibrancy and um, really made the colors pop. And then the last thing we've got here is channel mixer. Uh, this, this guy is, is really subtle. If I flip this on and off, you, you can barely tell what it does, but it just kind of uh, mutes the tones a little bit and makes it a little bit less harsh. All right, so this color layer, what am I doing here? Let's flip it on and I'll give you a, an idea. So here we've got a kind of a weird looking curve and it differs from the contrast curve in that we're using the individual red blue and green channels so i don't have rgb flipped on for this i'm actually going into each individual channel red blue and green and manipulating them in such a way that it completely changes the tone and the color of the images so we'll start with blue here give me an idea of, of, of what we're doing i've got three points on this line it's really subtle you can barely tell that they're even moved but if i start flipping them around a little bit you can tell this uh curve point right here is changing the highlights in her face from this kind of cool blue over to 
almost like a greenish yellow. So I put, pulled that down a little bit just to add some warmth into her face. And then this uh, bottom one down here in the shadows, that is manipulating the entire spectrum of shadow in this image and changing it um, from green up to more of a blue. Let's take it back to where it's supposed to be. Now the next layer that we're gonna look at is green. This guy just got one point on this, uh, this curve graph here. And this is probably the most dramatic one. I took it from, let's see, this is right here. This is neutral. And this is where all of the greens, uh, this is where you take control of, the gr of all the greens in your images. So I've got this point here, and if I drag it down like I did, I can kill every single green tint in this photograph and completely take it, you know, as far, well, as far as I want. This is gross, but you know, I can change it from, here we go, we've got green all the way up here, and then it just slowly starts to fade away all the way down here to blue, purple. Set that back to where it was. Now, red, I didn't manipulate, but if I did, uh, this is what it would look like. So we'll take the midtones in red. So I can take these red tones and really kind of tint them back to kind of a pink, or I can take them out of the image completely and make this image just look like it's swimming in blue, which I don't like. So that's what I did in this, this color curves layer. I'll walk you through that again, just real quick. We've got blue. Uh, just a couple of really subtle changes here uh, in the shadow areas down here and then also in the highlights uh, er the highlight areas up here and then lastly green we just took we just killed the greens out of here and that's just something that is is it, it's not something that you can't do in Lightroom but it's something that you have so much more fine-tuned control in Photoshop so the next layer is hue and saturation this one's gonna be a lot more straightforward flip that guy on and I just cranked it. It's just one slider. Down here, uh, we got it at zero, and then I just popped it up just to bring out all of the color in this image and really make it uh, you know, kind of pop. All right, so Channel Mixer, this is the last step of the process. What this is gonna allow you to do is to take the vibrancy down a little bit and kind of soften the image so it's not so sharp and vibrant. And you might be thinking, well, you just brought the vibrancy and saturation up in the last layer. So why, why do you have to do this extra step? Why don't you just take it down in that last layer? Well, Channel Mixer gives you just a little more control and I'll give you an idea of what that looks like here in a second. So if I flip this on, you can see it just is a little bit less vibrant and it's, it's subtle, but that's good. You know, you want to be achieving subtlety in your images. So we're gonna flip this layer off and add a brand new Channel Mixer layer so that I can kind of walk you through it. Now, the channel mixer dialogue looks a little bit crazy, a little bit intimidating, but I'm just gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. Now, here in the presets, you've got a bunch of color filters. You got infrared, blue, green, orange, red, and yellow. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click each one of these on and take a look at what it does. Now, uh, channel mixer turns the image to black and white, and what we're gonna do is just bring the opacity down on this filter to bring the color back in here in a second. But go through all of these uh, filter layers and see which one works best. So blue looks pretty terrible. It makes the, the image look really unnatural. Uh, green looks pretty good. It still looks uh, like a passable image. Uh, orange looks pretty bad. Red looks pretty bad. And yellow looks decent. So green filter is probably what we're gonna want. Now, once you've decided on your filter color, you're gonna wanna go into the opacity and take it way down. I usually start at 20% opacity and work my way up or down from there. So let's flip it to 20 and we've brought the color back in. So what we've basically done is taken a black and white channel, overlaid it on top of our image and brought the opacity down. And that's, that's basically what Channel Mixer does. And this just gives you a little bit of control over how much vibrancy you wanna take out of your image. If I play with the opacity uh, slider here, you can see I, I can take a lot of uh, vibrancy out or I can take none out. Now, I kind of liked where we were at 20, uh, so let's go ahead and pop 20 back in here, and there we are. So I hope you guys learned something today. I really, really enjoyed doing this edit. Um, it's, it's pretty dramatic. Now, I'll probably do another edit similar to this on an image that doesn't require so much treatment. 
I'll be doing the same process, but it will be a more natural looking photo so you can see what this color treatment process does to an image that it isn't so, uh, you know, kind of dramatic and stylized. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. I'll be making more videos in the future, and I hope you guys have a great day.